Hello everyone! Kumusta? This is Che and welcome to my channel. Mabuhay from Philippines. This is one of my mini files which I planted here in my orchid wall. And today I am very excited to show you um, some works that I did in the garden. I rearranged part of the garden and I also cleaned part of the garden and I can't wait to share it with you even though I am still not finished. First is this part of the garden with the dinrobiums that I planted on big clay pots or large pots and also some of the vandas that I mounted on bamboo poles and Today is very hot. It is 2 o'clock in the afternoon and as you can see, it's very hot. But my garden is already shaded during this time. And I am happy to show you, I am proud to show you that I already cleaned this part of the garden. I already removed the oncidium. I pulled her out from the pot and I mounted her on our guyabana tree and I also mounted part of her in our durian tree and as you can see this area is already partially cleaned or already cleaned and I also arrange I also place we arrange my ground orchids are my spatoglottis here and this is a bamboo orchid and i'm very happy to have this we went to a mountainous community and they gave this to me and the owner of the house gave this to me i said that i wanted to buy part of this orchid but she just gave it to me and i'm very happy I am not sure if it is native to the Philippines. I will search or I will research. But they said that they just found this in the mountain and planted there and plant, planted it in their garden. So I'm very excited. I hope that she grows for me. And here I rearranged my house plants, my aglonimas. I placed them here and also there but i am still planning to rearrange them because i am planning to place this bench or what you call this and i will move it here because i am planning to transfer here um, these phalaenopsis because every time i water my vandas i added a pole here so that I can hang more vandas and when I water them the phalaenopsis here also get get wet so I am planning to transfer them or to move them I added this so that um, my vandas will have more space because I have a sad story <laughs> this vanda I think has a crown rod she hasn't bloomed for me yet ever since I got her and now she might have a crown rod and I think that's because of the rainy season and the vandas were very close to each other and our garden here my garden here is not as windy in my uh, compared with my previous garden so that's why I placed some of the vandas here and I am still planning to rearrange them to have more space for my strap vandas or my hanging vandas and I'm very much I'm very excited to show you that this vanda this is the Vanda Redland chocolate which Miss Angel Lorene gave me is now spiking 
are as buds which will soon open for me and I'm very excited I hope that you will also visit Miss Angel Lorraine's YouTube channel she is a sweet lady and this Vanda is a gift from her I'm also excited to show you that two of my epidendrums are blooming the pink one and the red one so here's the pink one I really love the color I really love the flowers and this is the red one we have an epidendrum before my mother has epidendrums in her garden um, it was red epidendrums but the flowers were way smaller than this and not as vibrant as this flower so i'm thinking that it's a different variety i don't know if the philip if philippines has native epidendrums but most of the um, orchid growers here has that kind of epidendrums and they are blooming free flowering in their gardens and here are my other epidendrums this is the uh, um, yellow epidendrum and this is the orange dip epidendrum i hope that they will also bloom for me i am very excited that they will grow fast because i heard that they grow like weeds but I think they are um, growing slowly for me. This one is spiking, and this is the one of the dendrobiums which I potted, and this uh, and by I potted in one of our videos. This is the dendrobium copper. I just named her Dendrobium Copper because of the color of the flowers. It's not coppery, it's more of a brown Dendrobium. And I'm very excited that she will bloom for me. And this is the first time that this Dendrobium bloomed for me. It's very pretty. I have seen something like this with more of pink. And this one has more of blue purple flowers i also want to share with you my phalaenopsis schilleriana or swarchana i am not sure yet because i have this phalaenopsis without tags or id and this one had spike before last year but the spike is growing very very slowly and she is growing this new spike and they are almost of the same size but this is a very very new spike and this one did did not progress a lot so i'm excited for the display <laughs> i am imagining um, their flowers to cascade and here my lava burst poimani um, is growing two spikes the first spike is already starting to open and i am also excited for this because the first time she flowered for me she only had one spike but it was a branching spike and very very long lasting so I am, uh, I am excited for these two spikes although I just wish I had the red lava burst one of my tulumia one of my tulumias is also spiking um, they had sun, uh, sunburn but I am happy that they are recovering and this one is growing a spike I hope that this will have a beautiful show my phalaenopsis here my flowering falls uh, most of them already lost their flowers and um, 
I'm surprised because during my New Year's video, there were lots of flowers and then we, we went to a beach. Um, there was no rain, I guess. We left them for a few days and when we came back, most of the flowers are already wilted. So are already dry. Maybe they just love um, to be moist all the time. I'm not sure what's the cause. I I thought that Phalaenopsis flowers are long lasting, but that's not the case for <laughs> these fowls. And I have um, more fowls which are blooming, and some fowls are spiking. I still have an potted those makaras and i hope that these vandas especially the makaras will flower for me they still haven't bloomed for me but they are growing they are trying to flower because look at this and you see that um also here and even there, she already tried to flower for this Mukara three times, but still no bloom from her or no flowers from her, no spike. But I really, really hope that these Vandas will flower for me very soon. And that's all for today. That's all for now. I hope that I will be able to finish rearranging and cleaning the garden. I hope that I will be able to clean the pots and repot the orchids which needed to be repotted. But just like what they said, work is never done in the garden. There will always be work to be done. <laughs> and I am happy actually. I am excited that there are lots of things to be done. I'm excited to finish them because it makes me relax and fulfilled every time I accomplish something, even just small work in the garden. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for watching. Maraming salamat. Paalam. See you on my next videos.